Muslim rights concern, Murik has complained that its office has been inundated with reports from Muslim students, their teachers and parents, that the software of the West African Examinations Council YA being used for capturing during registration always malfunctions with hijab. The human rights group therefore suspects that the application was deliberately designed to automatically reject hijab. As a result, Murik has called on Waek to review the software by making it hijab compliant. This was revealed in a statement distributed to the media on Monday, 17th February 2020, by the director of the organization, Professor Ishak Akitola. According to the statement, reports from the from state branches of Murik concerning capturing for 2020 Waek registration has been alarming and disappointing. In Fawe, Mina, Niger State at the Asha International School. Students had issues had issues with capturing in hijab. The same report came in from several secondary schools in Ogun, Oyo, Oshun, Lagos, etc., and it resulted in the official asking Muslim students to remove their hijab for capturing, since according to them the hijab was not being captured by YX software. Here lies the redo. Several questions come to our minds. And it appears on why it can answer them. Hmm. Only why it can answer them. So over to why Muslims pay the same amount of why for why as all others. Why are all our daughters being victimized? Why are they being set aside for embarrassment? Why must their religion become a source of discomfort for them? Why are the Muslims' parents being made to go through psychological trauma? And now to fundamental issues that are directly connected to YX software in the questions. Who designed the software? Why is the software not capturing the job used by Muslim female students? Why would it be designed specifically not to capture Muslim females wearing hijab? Are we saying Muslim children cannot be Muslim anymore until they take non-Muslims identities? Why didn't the designers of YX software put the hijab into consideration? have an issue. Was there any test running before the design was approved? If there was a testing test running, who supervised the test running and where is the report? Muri demands answers to these questions without delay. Controversies over YX registration, stereotyping and maltreatment of Muslim candidates and imposition of anti-Muslim timetables have become recurring decimals. Over the years, Murik has intervened peacefully and diplomatically over the years, yet the controversies keep popping up a year in, year in, year out. We warn that Nigerian Muslims are running out of patience concerning YX's intransigence and its contestable treatment of Muslims. This examination body should, therefore, be blamed for any breakdown of law and order over its obnoxious and anti-Muslim policies. It is our considered opinion that Wayek is being used to certain forces to retard the educational progress of Nigeria Muslims. We also suspect very strongly that the controversial software is one of the plans of Islamophobic elements to frustrate Muslims after it became evident that no examination body has the right to ban Muslim students from using the hijab. We demand a probe to into circumstances surrounding develop, the development, operation, deployment, and application of the software being used by YEC with a view of to identifying reasons for the constant rejection of hijab by software. For a transparent exercise, we suggest the involvement of the National Information Technology Development Agency, a federal government agency, in the investigation. We further demand the corruption of a Muslim expert into the team of investigators. We volunteer to supply the Muslim experts and to pay for his or her services. Hmm. We urge Wayek to accept these suggestions as well as the offer in order to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that the examination body has no hidden agenda against Muslims. He who must come to equity must come with clean hands. To curb the edifice, we demand equal quality service for hijab-wearing Muslim students as part of their Allah giving fundamental rights, fundamental human rights. We affirm that something is fundamentally wrong with software that constantly fails to recognize a particular mode of dressing. 
We strongly suspect manipulation from the source. We therefore demand a transparent probe of YX capturing software without delay. This incident must not repair, repeat itself in 2021. A stitch in time saves nine. Professor Ishak Akitola, Director, Muslim Rights Concern. Mm, Murik. So guys, I don't know what you think about what this man is saying because to me, I don't just really understand what this man is always coming out with. I even thought after the Amoteku issue that he must have learned some lessons. But now it's like the man is not really, he's not ready to learn. And he's not ready to to improve himself in in day-to-day -day activities of uh, the modern day uh, whatever. I think uh, from the beginning, I think he needs to really ask uh, those northerners the reason why they are not even allowing their children or they are not educating them enough in the first place. But that uh, being said, my question is that, I don't know why this man is always trying to make it seem, you know, just want to bring this issue of a, you know, a, that a Muslims are being treated, a, you know, in, in, you know, maltreated, you know, in short, because of the way Khan has been coming out to air their opinions. And just like I said, if you believe that something has been happening to you, people, to your people, and you have not been talking about it, you know, that is your own, that is your own cup of tea. But if the tiny percentage of uh, Christians are being are being treated, you know, the way they don't like. Definitely, they will have to come out. So since then, this man has co be coming out constantly to make it seem. But uh, in my opinion, all of these things will not fly to make it seem that say, uh, oh, that uh, the Muslims too are really being marginalized. They are being treated bad. Now you are talking about Wayek. You are talking about software. You are talking about this and this and this and that. I don't know. He has asked a lot of questions, which he will be expecting. Wayek to answer his questions, whether because of them, they are going to do whatever and whatever. You know, the bottom line to me, in my opinion, is that this man is just trying to make it seem that uh, Muslims are treated bad in this country. And there's no way he's going to put it because he's not really adding up. All of these questions that he has answered, the Wayek will be able to answer him. Whether they are telling you because I know if you want to take passport, mostly international passport, anything that is going to, is, is not going to make your two years to come out and that is the, I don't know where this man is coming from. It is part of security. They want to capture everything, your two years and what have you. So if you put on your hijab, remove your hijab, take your, take capture, take your, let them take the capturing. Then you put off your, uh, put on your hijab back. So what is wrong in that? Even if you like, all this, uh, uh, whether they are, uh, what, what, what are they called? All this uh, reverend sister. Or you are putting on anything, you are putting on with your, you are tying gele or whatever you are doing, you are putting on that is going to affect that will make your two eyes two eyes not to show, your two ears not to show. You have to remove those things. And I don't, I can't really, I don't remember if, if I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm wrong. You just let me know. Even if you want to do your capturing, I think you have to, you have to remove your glasses also, or even you are fixing with one and your with one is covering your two ears. You have to pack your hair very well. That is the way it's being done. Those who have long hair, those who fix long hairs, you have to remove, you have to pack it very well so that your two ears will show, your eyes will show. That is the way it's being done. If you like, wear a uh, uh, obuluku in, or carry whatever, or glasses, that issue of glasses, I think you have to remove your glasses. But at least if you are having, you know, have long hairs or, and your hair is covering your two ears, you have to pack it very well so everything will show. So I don't know why this man is talking this way. They, have to, they want to capture you so that everything will show. That is the requirement of that software. I don't know why it's not saying they are anti, uh, why is anti Muslims in the, in, at this age and time. I'm just hearing this one for the first time that they are complaining. If they say remove your hijab and do the capturing, after you have done it, how many minutes is it going to take? It's not going to take, uh, yes, maybe five, ten minutes, even if it's going to get to that level, to that uh, uh, time. Then you put on your hijab back. So, what is not the problem? All of these things that this man is bringing, it's not, it's not, will not work. It won't work because he's not even adding up. And he's discrediting himself. Himself, he calls himself, you know, he calls himself a professor. And he's reasoning this in this manner. Someone says, Waek is not just Nigeria exams. It is called West African Examination Council. Professor, this complaint should be sent to all nations involved, not Nigeria alone. Why? Do we always allow religion create problem among us? Not all Muslims like this. Hmm. This cow called Akintola is really mentally drained. 
please someone should volunteer to take him to yaba for proper treatment your brain is upside down why was why just introduced to nigeria if why is capturing hijab they should look for another exam that is it she cannot this man need need serious check he's mentally disorder then why did you write the, when you know that uh, god to punish their mass just you know <laughs> what this person is talking about is really abusing him seriously this shows that you are a part of boko haram so hijab is the problem and more important by Murigna quality education nigeria muslims ever they are still the same narrow thinking so after encouraging your majority children not to attend western education you turn back blame people who encourage their children to learn western education maybe they should wait for neck for if they don't like doing work some group of christian uh, students are complaining that one school authority is forcing hijab on them you never made a statement concerning that are they talking you are they're talking what is uh is throughout uh, west african because why you say it's not only nigeria uh, affair just like somebody has said right to all the countries that are writing why or the headquarters of a uh, wayek uh, because i'm sure it's not in nigeria so don't address it to nigeria i think the headquarters of why is in ghana so you ought to have written to to ghana to say that it is not even nigeria that, that made that made it up honestly someone say education is for all nigeria update the software murik you point your point is good okay um someone says yeah okay hmm, say many cows around is it nigeria that is a that's a that's a whatever that's formed or uh, founded the wayek in the first place west african they say west african so like i said the headquarters is in ghana so this particular person is saying the murik uh man have a has a good point that education is for all nigeria <laughs> that issue of this the subject so is it it's not nigeria business and that is why they are getting it wrong right to the headquarters of wayek and i think if i'm not wrong it's in ghana so go and tell them over there so guys uh, let us hear your opinion with this a uh, new new thing a new complaint that this a uh, murik man is bringing again that a uh, wayek is anti-muslim organization leave your comments below and let's have your take thank you